Hello everyone, it's Ben at TV Parts today. Uh, back behind me on the table, we have a TCL55R625. We're gonna be pulling the back off as well as removing the boards from this unit. If you need any help or have any questions or need to order any parts, give us a call at 1-800-203-7484 and let's get into it. We have the back of the unit laid out here. Uh, there are a number of screws up and around the outside that we're gonna have to get out. Uh, and there are some screws that set into the back plate uh, uh, parallel to the television screen. Uh, we are gonna need to get those out as well to get this back plate off, but we'll get started on this and we'll get into the boards. Okay, so I believe that is it for the larger screws. I did notice as we were uh, heading over to this one right here, we are gonna need a number one fine tip Phillips head screwdriver to get that out. I'm gonna assume that the ones back here, we're gonna need those as well. Okay, after we get all of those out, looks like this is gonna come up and away pretty easily, no clips. We are gonna make sure that there's not anything that's connected to this. So we're gonna lift up very slowly and gently. It does not appear to be connected on the inside here so we can get started on these boards. The first board that we're gonna be working on is the main board. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit here with some tape. Let's get this up so we can actually get to these plugs. So with these plugs, we just want to depress them uh, with our thumb or thumbnail, which then releases the little latch. They come right out. All four of these plugs are gonna be just the same. We just wanna depress that lever and then gently pull them away from the board. This is gonna be just a little ribbon cable. We wanna pop that flap up with our fingernail. And these smaller ones tend to be a little bit more difficult to remove, but they come out really easily nonetheless. This one's the same way. Pop the flap up and just slowly work that out of there, no problems. This guy right here is going to be depressed with our thumbnail and then that releases the lever, which allows us to pull it away from the board. Um, let's get this little guy out of the way. He's the same way. It's gonna have the lever on this side. We're gonna depress that lever and just very gently pull that up. This one's gonna be much the same push down on that little lever, which then releases the, the latch on the inside. No problems there either. Let's get these screws out and this main board will be free. After we get the screws, the main board should just come up and away. And this little plastic piece just pops right off there. You can put this onto your replacement board if you need to, and that's gonna be it for the main board. So we're gonna be moving on to the LED driver board. Uh, there are just a series of ribbon cable connections here. We just wanna pop these up with our fingernails. And these are very easy, they just pop up. And then these cables should just come out of here with just a little bit of finagling. And we are gonna be needing to do the second round of ribbon cables as well. A second health bar, if you shall. And these come right away from the board as well, no problem. Pop them up with our fingernail. And just shimmy them right on out of there. So we've got all of the ribbon cable connections released. These flaps on the back, we just wanted to depress them with our thumb which releases the latch and we work them away from the board. This one seems to be giving me a little bit of grief, but we'll work on it. There we go. I think what we're gonna do, give ourselves a little bit of room to work with here. Go ahead and depress this lever and we wanna slowly work that plug away from the board. Same thing with this guy. There's a small lever here in the middle that we wanna depress with our finger pops right out. I'm gonna move this tape out of the way. Allow us a little bit freer access to this plug right here. It's gonna have a small clip on the outside edge. Just wanna push it down with your thumb and it comes right out. 
Now we just have a couple screws and that will be it for this board. So now that we have the screws out, the LED driver board should come free. No problems there. And we're gonna be moving right along to the T-Con board down here. Uh, this is where the two um, speakers connect together. Uh, we are just gonna want to depress this little lever right here, which will allow that to come apart. We'll give us a little bit more room to get to these ribbon cable connections. Pop them up with your finger and just walk those ribbon cable connections away from the board. Oh. If at any point that it's getting stuck on one side or the other, just reinsert the whole ribbon cable to where it's snug and then just start on that side that was getting stuck. It almost always just pops right out. Now that we've got that finished, we can get onto these screws and I'll be the T-Con board. It seems that this screw right here is gonna be stuck. Might need to use a pair of pliers or something like that to get that out of there. I'm gonna give it one more shot here. Oh, that is just spinning free in there. So this does happen from time to time if a screw is going to not be threaded correctly or something like that, uh, we can have these kinds of problems. What we'll just use is a pair of pliers. You do wanna just grab it on both sides, give it a little bit of upward pressure, and it should start to come out of there. This is not the best way to be removing screws from a board, but sometimes they're just gonna be threaded incorrectly or they're, they're gonna be some sort of damage to them that are gonna keep them from coming out. Just wanna be patient, stay with it. And that's gonna be the T-Con board. Last up is going to be the power supply board. We just got a couple clips along the side here that we need to remove. First one right here, we wanna depress with our thumb, releases the lever, it comes right out from the board. Same thing with this guy right here. Same style, just a little bit different. And we do want to try to get as much pressure on the actual clip as you possibly can as you're moving these out and away from the board. Same thing with this one, we just wanna depress the lever with our thumb and then very gently remove that out. And we should be able to just get these handful of screws out and this power supply should be finished. Looks like it's gonna be it for the screws and this power supply just lifts right up and out. That's gonna do it for this board removal video. Uh, it did throw us a little bit of a curveball there, but with some ingenuity and some elbow grease, we made it through. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below in the comments section. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you do subscribe, you'll qualify for 20% off your first order through TV Parts today. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.